entrepreneurs who their business is here in the marketplace and they're going to tell you a little bit about their business, what they stand for, and why it's so important to in, in, uh, so important to support black-owned businesses. Uh, these two women are dynamic and they have created something that you're going to love. I'm bringing to the stage Sita Lash and Orion Brown. Give them a round of applause. Yes. Anywhere you want, anywhere you want. All right, ladies. Sita, I'm gonna start with you. Can, Can you, you hear, tell you us a little bit about your business and why you started it? Okay, I got five minutes at least. So I am the founder and inventor and co-CEO of the Puff Cup. The Puff Cup. The Puff Cup, the Puff Cup is the only hair clamp specifically designed for thick, curly, textured hair that will not give you a headache and will not cause hair damage. It can be used with locks, twists, braids, curls, any type of texture. You can even sleep in it, so it's no headache, no damage, no hair drama. We love that, we love that. And Orion, can you tell us a little bit about your business and why you started it? Hi everyone, my name's Orion Brown. I'm the founder and CEO of Black Travel Box. It's a personal care products company for travelers of color. So everything that we make is in forms and formats that's meant to travel well, get you through TSA without the drama. <laughs> and it's made, it's inclusive, so it's made for a wide variety of hair textures and skin tones. I spent a good, when I started the company, I got 15 or so years in corporate. I took all my vacation days, holla to all the folks that get the four weeks and more, ow. Um, and every time I would go on vacation, I would go on these trips, and there was always some type of frustration with my personal care regimen. And I'm fairly low maintenance. I mean, I got the My Little Ponies on right now for you guys, so you can see me. But generally speaking, I just want to be, I want to look and feel my best when I'm out. And my challenge was being in places like Japan and can't find anything that works for me. It was just such a big frustration. So I created a brand that really was made for us, made for those of us who love beauty and travel and want to have products that are serving our needs. So that's where Black Travel Box came from. Love that, Black Travel Box. Um, so ladies, I'm you sorry. are, can I just, because I yeah, forgot to say where the inspiration and everything ahead, of came course. from. So I transitioned from relaxed hair probably a little over mm, I'm gonna finish, 16, 16 years ago. And that was before the Google, before the influencers, before everything else. And I felt like a fish out of water trying to grow my hair out when I didn't know what was gonna come out of my scalp. So one, I, I did the whole chop, did the TWA, and I was like, you know, I look exactly like my mom from the 70s, so I was like, I'm not quite ready to pull off that look yet, but the look that I felt comfortable in my own skin was having my hair up in a puff. And at that time, I lived in the Chicagoland area. And anybody's from the North, when you're working in corporate, usually you're the only black one in the department, you're the only black one in the building. And when it comes to being the only black female anywhere, all the other races and cultures are just so amazed at what oh, we can do with our hair. So you're automatically a source of attention. But when I cut my hair off and I was growing it out naturally, I didn't necessarily want all that attention. And I did not want to go through that whole thing is she's starting a revolution because she's growing her hair out in the afro. So my whole thing, like I said, was to pull my hair up in a puff. The only thing that I could find that could accommodate my hair was a boot size shoestring that I would take and wrap around my neck pull it up and cinch it until my puff supposedly got in place. And just by every hope and prayer, that sucker didn't move by the end of the day. But sometimes by the end of the day, I had an hour long commute, I had brand new twin baby boys and a husband. So by the time I got home, I was one hangry sister from my headache and being hungry in that commute. And I felt like, you know what? There's, it's a shame that I have to suffer in order to be able to style the hair that God gave me. So that's where the inspiration came from. It wasn't like I was discovering myself. It literally went, I went longer between touch-ups. All of the, the dermatitis and dandruff and everything else just went away. And my body just did a woo-saw. And I was like, okay, 
my body's telling me, stop putting these chemicals on you. So I had been having my hair relaxed since the age of 10. So when my body did that, I refused to go back, yeah. and I haven't looked back. I love that. Black women creating a product to, with, to, to fulfill a need when they don't see it on the market. I love that.